Hello, my darlings. Today I have another Bakugo story for you. I hope you enjoy it just as much as I enjoyed writing it. But before we dive right into it, I have a very important thing to tell you. And that is, please watch the video until the end, like or dislike, and comment something down below. If you don't know what to comment down below, tell me how your day was. Uh, this is important because this way I uh, get a higher standing in the YouTube algorithm. And the higher the standing in YouTube algorithm is, the more people watch my stuff. And the more people watch my stuff, you know, the, the more money I get. Please, I'm kind of short on it. I would greatly appreciate your support is what I mean. I also have a Patreon link down below. If you cannot support me there, that's fine. Just do what I just told you and maybe somebody that can actually support me can, you know, support me on Patreon. I hope I'm not asking too much. Anyways, I, I hope, I still hope you enjoy the show and just as much as I enjoyed writing it. Let's get right into it. It has been a few months of agonizing studies. You were motivated, sure. But now after what happened at the training camp, you were forced to live in dorms. Your father had a very specific way of getting lessons into your skull. And that was through reverse psychology. Were you embarrassed that such a sheep trick worked on you? Yes. Were you angry at him for doing it? Hell no. After all, it was the only thing that actually got you to do your own work and studies. Sure, you could call him just so you could make him shout at you, but it just wasn't the same. And you needed help since you were quickly falling behind. Well, sure, you could do some cram sessions with Momo's learning group. It once again wasn't the same. While Momo was an arguably great teacher, the distractions coming from Mina and Kaminari were simply too much. Plus, Momo was simply not dominant enough to get into your head. No, you needed someone assertive. With heavy-lidded eyes, you stared at the chemistry worksheet while lying on the comfy sofa in the dorm's common room. Outside, heavy rain pitter-pattered against the window. Rain always made you so sleepy, and you suppressed a heavy yawn. Your vision had started to become blurry. If it weren't for the importance of this, you would take a nap. The gears in your head began to turn. No, this could not keep happening. You would man up and do it. Ten minutes later, your own snoring awoke you. Water began filling your eyes. Why were you like this? With a gloomy expression, you raised your body before rubbing your hands in your face. You needed to wake up. Preferably yesterday. Your stomach turned as you gazed at the chemistry sheet. I hate you, you mumbled. How was that? You heard a few meters behind you. That was Bakugo's voice. After a moment of silence, you heard heavy stumps approaching from behind you. Oh, hey, Bakugo. You muttered, suddenly feeling very intimidated, as his heavy hands crashed behind you on the sofa. So why do you hate me, idiot? He growled into your neck. Slowly you turned your head to look at him. The blonde's cheeks were red from anger, and his crimson eyes were focused entirely on you. I wasn't talking to you, you whimpered. I was talking to the chemistry homework. He blinked. The crap's easy, he barked. Yeah, easy. When you have a normal attention span and discipline, maybe. You gulped down a sigh as you combed through your hair and thought. Well, you were already talking to the closest thing UI has to a school bully. You aren't like Monomoa, you could actually take serious as a threat. So you might as well try. Hey, uh, Katsuki? You asked. Can you help me with... this? He sighed, but it sounded more like a growl. With three heavy footsteps, he sat down to your opposite. What do you help with? He sounded more annoyed than willing. 
but you always knew that he was the closest thing to your father as he could be. Honestly, you felt stupid for not realizing it sooner. With an embarrassed chuckle, you handed him the sheet. <laughs> well, it's... Uh, everything. Bakugo closed his eyes for a moment. He genuinely seemed like he was about to blow a fuse. I talked about this in class so many times. You gotta be kidding me. Do you not listen? I do. You try to defend yourself. It's just as soon as I am out of the building, any attempt at learning fails. He sighed heavily, and, and for a moment he looked outside the large window to your right. After he didn't reply, you opened your stupid trap once again. Are you thinking of helping me, or are you thinking of an insult for a lazy old me? Slowly his head turned towards you. Not here to baby you extras. This was the first time him calling you an extra stung, and you could feel your lips quiver, before breaking out in a full-blown sobs. I, I'm sorry, Bakako, I just can't learn on my own. I, I, I need help, but I'm too much of a sarcastic idiot to follow through. I, I need discipline. I, I, no, pl please, you're the only guy in our class, or, or this school for that matter, with the personality I need to properly learn. I mean, seriously, where do I find a guy with the balls to call me useless? That I will never get it. Idiot, extra, pathetic, worthless. You know, to, to, to motivate me, just to prove them wrong. He blinked, taken aback by your outburst. And why was it turning him on ever so slightly? You sank back into the softness of the sofa. And a grin appeared on his face. <laughs> so this is what you want. He chuckled. You crossed your arms and looked away with a pout. What do you mean? You want someone to insult you while you learn for motivation. You blushed. It's not like that. He laughed loudly. <laughs> Holy crap, and I thought you idiots are at least somewhat normal. You hissed before looking at him. One of our classmates is literally a humanoid bird. One of my mother's co-workers is a sentient pumpkin. We are at the school to become superheroes. Have you looked outside? This world isn't normal anymore. He grinned. Spoken almost like a villain. Again you pouted at him. I'm not the bad guy, I'm just lazy. Please, just help me for God's sake. He rubbed his eyes, seemingly in thought. I want to waste my time with idiots. You shrugged. See, that's what I mean. His brows furrowed. What are you talking about? Your heart began to pound as your emotions began to boil. Now you make me want to learn so I can prove to you I'm worth your time and uh, effort. Bakugo blinked. He was about to break out in laughter. If he was a little more honest with himself, he would call you cute right now. However, at the same time, Katsuki understood that that might be exactly what you didn't need to hear. At least not yet. With an amused grin, he crossed his arms. Alright, I bite. But I also want something in return. Your eyes met his and you blushed ever so slightly. The other idiots in our class will most definitely want to join our little, uh, cram sessions. Should they find out you're actually improving from my lessons, I mean. So? He asked with intrigue. I'm not planning on wasting my time, so how about this? I'll only help you if we disguise our little uh, learn group as dates. You blushed. Taken aback by his words. What do you say? Bakugo asked with a toothy grin. I never had a boyfriend before. You squeaked. I didn't say it'd be a boyfriend. Your heart pounded. All I said is that I help you with your stupid homework. This sounded like a challenge. Was it a challenge? Wait. 
Was this part of his mind game? You felt excitement fill your entire being. If this worked out, this would not only help you in the long run, you might actually get him permanently to push you forward even after school had ended. With a cheeky grin, you looked straight at his face. Sure thing, Bakugo. But if we really... You put extra emphasis on your next work. Pre... You put extra emphasis on your next word. Pretend... You chuckled. Then we need lovey-dovey nicknames for each other to make it more believable. Now it was his turn to blush. <laughs> Fine! He barked. If someone else was here, they would have noticed the tension rising up inside the both of you. Despite your lack of initial attraction towards each other, you now wanted him. While he was just looking for an excuse to not talk to your other classmates. In addition, he liked shouting at you. And so, these little mind games between the two of you started. <laughs>